Many sleepless nights, days going without a shower, 800 hours later. This is how I went from rookie one to legend in NBA 2K24. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Ice Ninja back here with another banger on the channel. And today I'll be showing you guys a compilation of my journey going from rookie one all the way to veteran three and hitting top 10. I will also be going in depth explaining the best methods to get the most rep possible and how to get to your next rep quicker. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get right into it. So this is where it all started on NBA 2K24. September 8th, 2023, drop night with my boys Quavo and GH99 Tank. We were ready to hoop. Going into our first game, I was on a 6'2 PG, my first ever build on 2K24. And let's just say you guys are about to witness greatness. You guys can tell this was the first game too because it was literally on broadcast. I was like wondering with the new camera system, like how to change it and everything. First possession of the game, you know, that guy goes for a layup. He doesn't really know what to do, neither do any of us because it's NBA 2K24. You know, it's a new game. I did not really play NBA 2K23, so I did not know what the dribbling was going to be like. But you guys see me cooking up here, passing to the corner. Quavo, white light, brick. I'm not going to lie to you guys, bro. Quavo in the corner was a disaster. If you guys watch the Twitch streams, you know, I play with him a lot. He's bow chick now, but you know, patch one, bro, in the corner. It was crazy. <laughs> Tank out on the break to me. I quick stop, go for the three, bang! Y'all know me, man. It doesn't matter the 2K, it doesn't matter the custom. I'm gonna green that bitch regardless. Quavo's giving me the rock. He jumps. I think about shooting it, but I just go for the lob. We didn't really know what the rep method was going to be this year because Tank, originally my center, was going for top 10. So we were like experimenting, you know, new game flashy passes, alley-oops, shit like that. Quavo getting the lane, I pick it up, throw it out to him for the oop, and he just lays it right in. I'm not gonna lie, the first couple of days of park ran pretty smooth. There was no, you know, connection issues. The only problem that there really was with this game at the start was the delay. The delay was horrible, especially with crossplay on. A lot of people in the community, you already know, were complaining about it, saying fix the delay. You know, people are moving like snails, you know, delayed inputs, shit like that. You see me with takeover, quick stop, bow, green light. I mean, like I was the best shooter day one. I think this was a six for six game on my first game. I did tell you guys before the game started that this would be an insane game and see, I end the game right here. Do I pull up the scoreboard? I don't really remember. You won, let me see, 22 to four. Nah, I didn't pull up the scoreboard, but trust I did go six for six. Now, from this point on, you guys are going to see a majority of pro-am gameplay beside the events because let me tell you, NBA 2K added this year double rep at 250 wins on your pro-am team. Now, this is just insane. 2K has never done this before where, you know, you could just play pro-am and just have lifetime double rep. As you can see here, rookie one to rookie two rep up. As soon as I saw someone post about this double rep in the pro-am on my timeline on Twitter, I told my boys instantly like, yo, we need to grind for a 250 win team because we could just hop in the pro-am whenever and we will have double rep. We don't have to rely on the theater. We wouldn't have to rely on park events, anything like that. I believe this was the weekend after 2K dropped. As you can see on the bottom, it says hashtag 2K day. This was basically a 72 hour double rep event in the park. To be honest, this was crucial to us, but I still think that we should have, you know, went into the pro-am. As you can see here, I did rep up from rookie two to rookie three. This is the start of the rep journey, which if you guys didn't even know, I wasn't even going for top 10 originally. It was straight tank my center, but you know, I had to get it done. These park events were okay. The only thing that was bad about them is that we couldn't get back to backs. We went on a couple Bonnies, but still, it's the first weekend of the game. I feel like we should be able to get back to backs. We weren't even wearing, we didn't buy clothes from swags. You know, we weren't looking dripped out. And sometimes we still didn't get back to backs. Here's another gameplay from the 2K day event. And I was really starting to move. You know, I figured out my SIGs, I figured out my jump shot and overall was just trying to get rep. As you can see here, low curry slide, you know, tank slips. Unfortunately, couldn't get the lob off. I'm getting back on defense. Passes it to the guy in the paint. He does a hop step like it's 2K20. Tank gets the board, passes that out to me. You know, Ruffle Sharp, Ice Ninja. You know what color that is. That's green bean. This whole weekend in 2K Day event, me and Quavo were just trying to get our jump shots down. You know, you just saw him in the corner, green bean. Tank with the lane, Quavo gets it. Back out to me in the corner. Corner God, green bean. I mean, you just know what it is. Every single shot you're going to see is automatic. 
Hey, Quavo getting the little posterizer, you know, he been on his lockdown. I'm not gonna lie. He does get those posters a lot. You saw me though, the fade. Am I looking like Crip walking with the little Krona Zen? I don't know, bro. I gave it out to Quay to see if he can get the corner shot. Left wing back to me, green bean, 100% three at the top, right? Quavo shot a little midi, it's whatever. Let me see if I can end the game real quick. Nah, I give it to Quay because I'm trying to get his jump shot down. You remember the first game that shit was Clank Doodle. You'll see you won 10 win streak, our first Bonnie on NBA 2K24. And hey, man, we have a lot of constant Bonnies throughout this video. Now, this is where we get into a completely new era of me, myself, Ice and Ninja. You see the yellow mischief boots. When I tell you when these croc mischief boots came in swags, I was so excited, bro. You know, it's just like... 2K doesn't really put out the new shoes like that, like whatever's new and hot, they be, you know, put in the same old Jordans and shit. But finally, we got the mischief boots. Right here after this game is where I did hit starter one in NBA 2K24. The animation will come up in a couple of seconds. There we go, rookie three golf club animation. Of course it's glitch, you see the golf club right there. And bow, starter one. This is where the journey all began to hitting top 10. This was really the kickstart of it all because I hit starter one within the first couple of days of NBA 2K24. You see here me jumping for the lane on a 25 steal. I mean, who else is doing it on 25 steal beside me? And you know, I got to cook up low, you know, size up cross tween tween. You know what color that is. Here we go. This is the start of GH99 clan where we really start picking it up, trying to lock in for this 250 win diamond tier to get double rep lifetime. Here, GH99 arc, Quaybone, Ice Ninja. This was the trio for the first couple weeks of the game. As you can see me, little, you know, size up. What? I don't even know what jump shot I'm using there, but that's green regardless. Let me tell you, man, the amount of pro-am games I have played, it is actually disgusting, but you really gotta do what you gotta do to get that lifetime of double rep. Quavo gained that steal, passing it out to me. Like we're playing, it's like we play gods in pro-am. We just cherry pick two on three defense. You get yourself a lock who knows how to play it. Like look at Quavo, he gets every single lane because he knows how to play it. Find a lock that can actually play the lanes and you'll be solid. You can end like three games within, I don't know, let's say like 15 minutes. When I tell you guys we were flying through this, I mean, we got diamond tier level within a couple of like, I would say even days. Some people were like struggling, you know, getting their wins up, losing a lot of games. But for us, you see right there, seven for seven, it was kind of easy for us. If you guys don't already, please, and I mean, like, I can't stress this enough, get a good three and hit the pro-am if you're trying to get higher in rep, you know, getting your starter two, starter threes, vet ones, etc. Please just get into the pro-am and get your 250 wins. It is literally lifetime double rep. As you can see, another game ended here. Got the steal again on a 25 steal and did a little dunk, you know, I could really do it all. Now, this is where we get into debatably the craziest thing that happened this year in NBA 2K24, this theater event, AMX. Originally, it was supposed to be a double rep 3v3 theater event, but it was glitched for the first couple of days. When it came out, people were like, wait, why are we getting so much rep? I'm going to show you it right now. You see, I gone up nearly 0.5 on a starter one to starter two bar. Once we figured this out as a community, we're like, we have to get in here and grind it out. Unfortunately, I didn't really put it into the perspective that this times four rep would actually be hitting like crazy because I didn't really maximize my like potential rep gain on it. Now, of course, unfortunately, like two or three days before the theater resets, which is every Friday at 11 a.m. EST, they did bring it back to 2x rep. It had to have been like a glitch in the system. Here is where I'm about to hit start to corner fade green bean tank gives it out to me green bean on the right wing You know, I really don't miss from the wings you won. Let's see here the starter two animation I low-key forgot what it was. It was so long ago. Let me tell you winner circle 18 points you already know me and Starter one to start two little same animation from 2k20, which is fucking insane to me, but Hey man, starter two reach, you've unlocked the elite hoverboard and the additional turbo meter. I'm not gonna lie, starter two, such great rewards. The hoverboard, you get around the city quick and the additional turbo meter. You don't have to go hit the drills every week. The rest of this, I'm pretty sure I was just playing the Amex event because it was 4x rep, like I said previously. It was really soup. And also when they reverted it back to 2x, it's still worth it to play any of the theater events because to be honest, you play like, You'll play random people or you'll play squads like it's like a 50-50, but when you play Pro-Am, you know you're playing against, sometimes you play against, you know, comp players, some, you know, fake sweats, or you'll play bums, but in the theater, you just have a way higher chance of playing bums. As you can see me, man, little fade, right hand fade, green bean. 
Look at this fucking smothered I hit. Holy shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Some of the smotheds I hit were crazy. Now, this is where we played the number one team before we got it. The number one team in Pro-Am, which is TTV Original Malik. Malik is a 2K League Pro-Am player that did go for top rep. I'm pretty sure he came third or fourth in the rep race. And yeah, I mean, the original Malik, Nam Tough, and Pullen Caskets. I mean, that's a pretty tough team we had to lock in and secure because I'm not going out like that. You see us, man. It's about to flip in a second. Iso Ninja, the Elage one, and the random wizard, the first the first top 10 in NBA 2K24. Me and him were hooping for a little bit, you know, switching positions because we were both on the game a lot and my center actually stopped playing the game. So it worked out for the both of us. As you can see from me, you know, they're playing two six eights on the PNR. So it's kind of hard for me to get open, but you know, I'm gonna make it happen. Little crab green bean, you know what color that is. Took my green release, you know, thing off so you guys can't really see it. Malik jumping at me, you know what color that is. It's just straight green three after three. The score is 13 to 11, we need a stop. We eventually got it. I'm in the corner dexing another green. 16 to 14, we're down by three. We're down by two, I had to get the three up. 17, 20, I got me and Nam Tough on the one-on-one -on -one ISO. Low, you know, little signature size up into the fade, you know what I do. Shit's too easy. Olajuwon took the close shot to end the game 22 to 20. You know me, man, had to shut it down. So this is where we get into some park events that are crucial to rep grinding. I mean, this event strikeout was a 4X rep event, eight servers, two hours long each. You needed to win four games in a row to unlock the 4X rep. And also if you lost three times, you would no longer be able to play this event. So we had to lock in. As you can see, we're on the fourth floor here. You know me, man, in these kind of situations where we play not comp players, but games that we need to win, I'm gonna take anything. You see me, you know, passing the quick slips, passing, you know, anything I get to get my badge and hopefully secure the game. They have a couple of these events every single year, you know, TKO strike out both 4X events. Hopefully they bring out Puma later in the year so people can really capitalize off the 4X rep. But for the rep race, people who were like really good were capitalizing off of this because there were some people in the rep race who were losing and unfortunately did not get to play these servers. But you know me, man, I'm not going out like that. I don't think there was a server that I lost. We ended the game going into our next one. You won. Let's see. I'm gonna show you the screen right here. Strike out winner, congratulations, your next game's on the fourth floor. We're on a 13 streak here with like an hour left or like, you know, 45 minutes, something like that. You're gonna see my rep bar in a second. And my rep bar right here, 0.3 on a starter three to vet one bar. I mean, that's just unheard of. 4X rep really did carry most of this rep race. For the rest of this, we're kind of just hooping, you know. If we're up, I'm gonna be down on the break cherry picking, giving Quavo some twos for my takeover, you know, shooting anything with takeover because sharpshooting takeover is really something else in this game. What jump shot am I using here? I'm using Patty Mills starter three jump shot base. Don't use it anymore, but it was really good for its time. Tank pop into the left wing. Me giving Tank the quick slips, ending another game. Most of these games were ended pretty fast, I'm not gonna lie to you, you know. We had to end these games as quick as possible so we could play the most amount of 4X rep games as fast as we could. After this event ended, we got back into the Pro-Am and since I told you before, my center that I played at the start of the year stopped playing the game, I made myself a center and started playing with Wizard every day. Wizard was having struggles finding teammates and so was I, so I was like, let's just make the play and me get on center, you be on guard. Look at me, Wizard, and C4. You know, that's just a classic trio. I mean, you could find that trio on any 2K. Our record was nasty too. I'm not gonna lie. We were in the top two Pro-Am teams that whole season one and season two that we're in right now, we are also in the top two teams. Now, this was the first event in NB 2K24. And what I mean by the first event was the real first event where there were unlimited boosts available. Cage match. This event gave you unlimited rebound boosts if you came top five. I was trying to win for my man's Quabo on the interior that he was on. It's like cages from old 2Ks, right? Playing this event on a guard or a sharp, whatever you want to call it, is a complete headache, let me tell you. So basically what people would do is just sit in the paint, one or two people, and just jump as soon as I shot it. I don't know why that game took so long to start, maybe because someone quit, but look, I shot it. He could have blocked it there, which is what happened most of the time. So I had to do some techniques like, you know, pump faking once or twice, 
fake passing. This was a my points event, so you know, Quavo was doing anything to get the blocks, the steals, the assists. I was just shooting, you know, trying to get him the most my points as possible. It was easy when I was on a break like this, and I threw him the, you know, little dunk here, little dunk there. But when I was cherry picking and no one was in the paint, I mean, it was so easy. I'm shooting open shots, you know. The only thing that sucked was that there was no three point line, so you had to take 11 twos in this event, which makes the games take so long. He. Quavo unfortunately came six in this event, which just sucks. And it's also pretty bad because people on this event leaderboard, the server that we played, were boosting and 2K didn't really do anything about it. Here are some clips of me on Popper. I mean, you know, just spin jumpers, hop jumpers. You know, you know what I do, bro. This is another rep event that you guys need to be playing. It's every Friday from 9 p.m. to midnight. It's called Club 2K and it's double rep. You got the ones court, twos court, and threes court all around this little event. And they've had it for the past couple years where it was double badge progression where there was no rep, but now it's double rep and, you know, wizard, look at him. He can't fucking, he can't shoot, bro, which, you know, common occurrence. Here's some couple clips from Rec. Honestly, I didn't play it much. I don't really think you guys should be playing it. Now, this was what really mattered. The 1v1 in the theater, especially this one, because it was double rep for a week in the theater. We had this event in there. P6 got one whole bar plus 20%. Don't, don't mind that air ball because of this event. So here we got the 2K League event, which was a 5v5 event the first time around where you would get unlimited dunk boost and a combine spot, which I won a couple times. Here's some clips, you know. This also helped in the rep grind because all of these events are double rep, so I can play them to get my unlimited boost, whatever the rewards are, and at the same time, I can secure double rep, which was very helpful, especially fives. 20 points, 30 assists. I'm not really the biggest fan of the, like these rec style events, 5v5. They're pretty boring, to be honest, compared to 3v3. Um, I will show you here the rep I got and what rep I was at. The event was pretty easy, though, you know, position-based events position-based leaderboards so there were five different leaderboards going from point guard all the way to center each position had its own boards 40k my points there it was pretty all i had to do was you know throw dots shoot threes just to win this event if you guys do want tips and tricks on how to win certain events just let me know and i could you know go really in depth since i've won most of them already and my rep level is about to show in one second let's see what i was at vet one to vet two and i just got point three damn so i was i was 32 percent into vet one in the 2k league event which wasn't that long ago that's not too shabby to be honest shout out my eu boys that did help last minute as you can see all of them here they helped me secure this event you know i needed a team you see i'm first here with 22 minutes left we really shut this shit down which was one of the many 2k league events that i did shut down with the squad now here we got the 3v3 2k league event which basically you know was the same way as you can see i'm third here with 21 minutes left this is a whole nother server uh, the, these 3v3 ones were kind of tricky because there were a lot of boosters on the top five, so a lot of people did not win, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, 2k did pack them up though, which is good, but people did not get rewards that were like 6 through 10. These 3v3 events are my second nature. You know, we play the 2 on 3 defense just like Pro-Am, just like events like Basketball Gods back in the day. I just leak out and shoot threes. That's really all I had to do in this event. Sometimes I take the two if we were about to lose, but... Other than that, look at that shot I hit. I mean, that fade is just insane. Shard badge can really make you turn into Thanos in this game. Shooting out of these games, just looking like a straight machine three after three, getting the games over with as quick as possible. So I would say like the last month, maybe couple weeks of my rep grind, which I'm about to show in a second, is theater. As you can see at the bottom, NBA is back event. This was the time where 2K would have one to two 24 hour double reps each week. And they, I think they still do it now. So basically you could play these in the theater, the city, and anti up. Now the thing about the theater is it's matchmaking. So you, we could just play the twos and I can end twos games. I'm not gonna lie, you might, y'all might think it's cap, but like a minute to two minutes. Once you learn how to just, you know, get the stop and shoot and do that every single time, that's just, that's the cheat code. This is where I did rep up to veteran two. This was a couple weeks ago, actually. You guys are going to see the animation in a second. This animation wasn't that bad, to be honest. It was the soccer ball kick animation. We have seen it in the past, but hey, man, I did. I do wish we did get new animations, but it's still cool. You know, soccer ball kick, it's whatever. Veteran 2 reached all defense attributes plus 2, and I did get some other rewards I don't remember. Here they had 72 hours of double wrap, which Balenci in the corner just hit a corner 3 with Mamba take on a break starter 25-3. I did get a cool like 10% from the 72 hours of double. Actually, 
Yeah, 72 hours of double wreck. I thought it was 48 for a second. It wasn't that bad. You see a little and one in Pro-Am here. Back to the theater. This was a Halloween event. You know, Fade. Just all of these events is what you guys have to capitalize on. I really can't stress this enough. And when there's no double rep events, straight Pro-Am. I, I got these last two bars, the Vet 2 and Vet 3 bar, like smashed out because of all the events that 2K puts in. I promise you, if you just dedicate a little bit of time in your day to play these events each week, you will get a lot of rep towards your bar, whatever you're trying to accomplish. I'll give you guys one tip though. You guys should be playing with someone that has a lot of three point as the point guard and then and play with one person that has a lot of rebounding. Like for example, me and Balenci played all of these events together and I was on a six foot four. Basically play sharp, it's a three point shot hunter. And then I played with Balenci who was on a popper and we really didn't lose that many games. As you can see, I keep showing Pro-Am games because that was what I would play in between of the events. In between theater and the events, it was always Pro-Am. Now, dime time. I am so happy that I won this event and that I was awake, you know, for this event to start because it was for unlimited Gatorade boost. Not only just unlimited Gatorade, the best category, the Gator Light, which gave you the extra bar. We originally thought that this was just going to be a double rep event like it's always been. You can see me second place with, you know, six hours left. So it still took a bit of time, but we thought this was going to be a park event like 2K20, 2K21, where, you know, it's just a regular leaderboard. It'll tell you the top three contributors, shit like that. But when I loaded in and looked at the leaderboard and saw that there was unlimited Gatorade, I was like, yo, Balenci, yo, Tank, come hoop. And then later on, Tank had to leave. So we picked up Scampy, which he really helped me shut it down. I appreciate everyone that always like, you know, my mans know that I appreciate them helping me win these events. You know, Scampy, Corner God, he doesn't miss on EU delay too, which is just insane to me. Now, since I won this event and just threw dimes the whole time, I never have to buy Gatorade again, which is just such a blessing. This is the first year that there has been unlimited Gatorade in an event. Here are a couple highlights from Pro-Am, you know, my 90 steel PG, which I'm going to make a build video on for you guys. I mean, I get every single lane backcourt playing safety. You know, he's jumping for what? Muffuckers be jumping for joy. Now, this is some rare Ice Ninja stage gameplay. I was bored one night when I was at 99% of Veteran 3, and I was like, yo, let's play a game of stage or two. Why not? I have nothing else to do. You know me, three after three. I mean, that's just what I do. No Zen required. Little fat stop into a three, talking shit in game chat, you know, just getting a little chatty. And now this is where I hit veteran three. You guys, if you guys didn't watch the video already where I hit vet three live on stream, make sure you guys check it out. These are some highlights, some, you know, threes back to back, you know, just possessions from the game where I scored. And finally, we are at the end of the grind. Rookie one to vet three, top 10 completed first top one of the first top 10 on nb 2k24 i showed you guys everything like the best rep methods how to get rep quick what you guys should be doing what builds you should be playing so you guys should not have any trouble trying to lock in and get veteran three or whatever rep you want like starter two for the hoverboard and gatorade for example starter three for the animations vet two for rebirth 2.0 whatever you guys want to grind for you can do it by the methods i gave you in this video I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I will be giving out some, you know, build videos, jump shot videos, six videos in the future. I'm sorry for like the week break it took for my last video and this video. This video did take a while to edit. You know, it was pretty long. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my socials that are down in the description. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. I will respond to them. You know, it could be rep questions what build you should make questions, event questions. It doesn't matter. I will make sure to respond to them. And yeah, I'll catch you on another video. Peace.